Are you tired of the same boring side dishes at every meal and are looking to change things up? Well, look no further than these ultra creamy and cheesy, crowd-pleasing scallop potatoes. Sit back and relax while I walk you through this simple and delicious recipe right now on Capital Kitchen. Here are the ingredients you're gonna need in order to make one large baking dish of scallop potato. Now let's start with the most important ingredient, the potatoes. Today what we're gonna be using is yellow flesh potatoes. You uh, might also refer to these as Yukon Golds. We're gonna be using a mandolin slicer today to get these potatoes all sliced down to a consistent thickness. As much as I think this is the best way to get the perfect textured potatoes for this recipe, it's definitely optional to use this tool. If you don't have one, feel free to use your knife and do your best to cut the potatoes evenly in size. Set them aside so we can prep our sausage. Today we're going to be using about two thirds of our capital Ukrainian sausage, which is going to pair beautifully with our creamy potatoes. If you've ever had Ukrainian sausage and pierogies, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Dice your sausage up and bring it on over to your stove. So we got our Ukrainian sausage, we're just going to add this in. We're gonna help this out. We're gonna go in with some olive oil, okay? We're gonna slowly brown the meat in this oil and then we're gonna use that oil as part of our roux. But for now, we can just focus on building the flavors in the pot. So when the sausage is starting to get this nice dark brown color, we're gonna go in and add our onions. Onions and Ukrainian sausage is such a good combo. It just smells absolutely amazing. Once the onions are cooked and translucent, we can then add about five or six cloves of chopped garlic. And I'm gonna call this done. Everything's got some good color on it. It's very fragrant, it's smelling amazing. We're gonna set the sausage and onions aside for now and do our best to keep as much of the oil in the pot as possible. We're gonna go ahead while it's still hot and add a whole stick of butter. Once it's melted down, we're gonna slowly add in about a half cup of flour and stir it together until we get the lumps out and it all comes together like this. Now, I ended up adding just a little bit too much flour, but that's actually okay. It's better to add a little bit too much flour than not enough. If you want an exact measurement, aim for equal parts by weight of both butter and flour. We're gonna then slowly stir in our 2% milk a little bit at a time until we have the desired consistency. Now to this, we don't have any salt or anything like that just yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt. We're also gonna add some garlic powder and we're gonna add a little onion powder as well. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a stir. Now an optional step here, you don't have to do this, but we're gonna add in some cheese. I got some aged white cheddar cheese that we're gonna add to this for a little bit of extra flavor. And this actually takes it from scalloped potatoes to another dish altogether, French name. Wish me luck here. Au gratin. And the only difference between scalloped potatoes and au gratin is cheese in the in the bechamel sauce, the cream sauce. So to uh, to play nice with the sausage in here, which has a very smoky sweet flavor, I also went with a smoky medium aged cheddar, white cheddar. That's gonna be so good. Oh, I can't wait to put that on the potatoes. Now all that's left is to layer our potatoes and bake them in the oven. Lay down a little bit of sauce in the bottom of your dish, followed by a layer of potatoes, then some more sauce, a bit of our sausage and onions, some more potatoes, and so on until you've used all your ingredients or until you've filled your baking dish. Try to end with a layer of sauce on top before laying down one last layer of mozzarella and cheddar cheese. I'm not an expert at this. I think it runs in the family. Okay. Okay, why? Are the bricks with, uh. So this is halfway through cooking. All right, you know what, that cheese is mine. I'm claiming that. <laughs> we can go ahead and stick it back in the oven uncovered or this is a good time to let it cool, pop it in the fridge, and you can put this in the oven in the future. So if you got a potluck or something the next day, this is the point where you wanna stop. If you do decide to uh, save this for the next day, you could just pop it in the oven for another 30 to 40 minutes at 375, uncovered. All right, we're gonna pop this back in. Let it go another 30 to 40 minutes. Oh, this looks incredible. Okay. woo -wee. I'll just sprinkle some on there. So I never really know the right tool for the job to actually get this out of here perfectly. I'm probably gonna screw it up, but you know how it goes with potatoes. Try and do it kind of like a lasagna. Oh boy, that's about what I expected to happen. I mean, look at that. That's just insanity right there. I would love a spoon. Cheers. Ah, 
I love, 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 love scalloped potatoes. The addition of the Ukrainian sausage brings a lot of the smoke, but also we use double smoked cheddar. And it's just like pumping out the smoke right now. It's cheesy, it's buttery. I'm gonna crush this whole bowl right here. Woo! That is unreal. I love scalloped potatoes. If you love scalloped potatoes, you're gonna love this recipe. Even if you've never had scalloped potatoes, if you love potatoes, you're gonna love this recipe. If you love pierogies, you're gonna love this recipe. If you love Ukrainian sausage, you're gonna love this recipe. I really appreciate it if you stuck around this far, you've made it to the end. Uh, I wanna thank you for all your comments and all your likes and all your support. I really, really appreciate it. I can't tell you how much it means, uh, not just to me, but the whole team at Capital. It really helps out a small channel like ours to get all your uh, wonderful comments and feedback. And so please keep doing it and also thank you. And, uh, and with that, I wanna thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.